Hi everybody, welcome back to Ortho Boston TV. I'm Dr. Tim Hartshorn, and today we're gonna to be talking about joint pain when the weather changes. Have any of you or your family members ever felt like you can predict the weather, um, like your grandma can tell there's a storm coming? My knee's really aching today. Y'all get ready for a frog strangler. There is some science behind that. Today we're gonna to explain why your joints, specifically joints which have arthritis, will hurt when the weather changes. So the first thing we need to understand is what is barometric pressure? So barometric pressure or atmospheric pressure is the weight of the molecules that are in the air around us. You can think of all the oxygen and nitrogen and all the different particles in the air as little weights that sort of put pressure down on us. So when there is high pressure, there are lots of weights pushing down on us. When there's low pressure, there are fewer weights pushing on us. So when it's sunny, that's when there are all these weights kind of coming down on us. We call it high pressure um, when it's sunny. But then when it gets cold out, you know, let's take you know, a few of these out, there's less weight on us. So that's low pressure. So what is, how do we measure that? Well, I'm gonna take, <clears throat> I'm gonna take Marillo out of here, put him back to work. So if we um, draw a container and put water in it, so they put some water in it, and we put a test tube upside down in this container, water is gonna go up this test tube and you'll see it, it'll be sitting like right here. Well, why is that? Well, because the weight around will put pressure down, will push this water down. It's gonna push it down, it's gonna push the water up into the test tube because there's weight in the air. So that's why it goes up the test tube. So why is this important? Well, and I'm gonna make this much, much more simple than it, than it is in reality. But the pressure affects the fluid in your joint. So if you have a knee, and I'm gonna to try to draw a knee here, that is not horrible. And you have, and this is the capsule, that's the container of the knee, so the fluid. Let's say you have some, you have arthritis, your knee is swollen uh, with activity. Um, there's fluid in the knee. And with pressure, if you have, with high pressure, it's gonna compress that fluid with low pressure, that fluid is gonna expand and it may make the knee more swollen, tighter, increasing your pain, decreasing range of motion. There was one study done by Timmerman and colleagues in 2014, which was fairly well done. And although this, I'm sure this is not exactly correct, it kind of gives an idea what to expect. So with an arthritic joint, we find that about 40% of patients will be able to sense when rain is coming. 30% uh, of patients will have symptoms when the temperature just changes, when temperature changes or when it gets cold. An interesting fact that was also noted was patients who lived in warmer climates, so lived in Florida year round, were more sensitive to temperature changes, meaning they could, if the temperature dropped, they could sense it uh, easier than someone who lived in, let's say, Boston or the Northeast. So um, there could be some adaptation there. Okay, so what should you do about this? Well, Sir William Ower, he was a founder of Johns Hopkins Hospital in 1892, began noticing an improvement in the patients that increased the time they spent in Southern California and Southern France. And he actually began encouraging his patients at that time to live in those areas. So we obviously figured that out in New England a long time ago. Uh, we turned them snowbirds, and you can tell at the end of every fall, 95 gets jam-packed heading south. Um, but there are some things that we can control and some things that we can not control. So some of the things we can control if you're in the Northeast is vitamin D levels. That's been shown to help overall health, but also can affect the joints and can affect this issue. The other is exercise, uh, which keeps the joint strong. Diet is very important. Um, things that keep inflammation down, such as ice or Advil and anti-inflammatory. Inflammation is, it would make fluid, so if we have anything that's anti-inflammatory, we make less fluid, would be less affected by the barometric pressure changes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that helped to clarify some of the issues or questions you had with this topic. I encourage you to check out our website. We do offer numerous non-invasive treatment options here for arthritis, whether it be hip, knee, shoulder. And on our website, there's additional information that might help you come to a decision as to how you wanna pursue your treatment in a conservative fashion. If you have any questions, feel free to call us, email us. We're here to be a resource for you and uh, stay safe out there.